Hey everybody, Korakanala here, and this is my review of DevDOS, a 2002 movie that was re-released in theaters for one day only through uh, Fathom Events here in the United States for its 15th year anniversary. Uh, this movie is directed by Sanjay Leela Ban Sali. I'm sorry if I slaughter these names, but I'm trying my best. Starring Shah Rukh Khan as DevDOS, uh, Madhuri Dixik as Chandram Uki, and Ashwarya Rai Bakchan as Parvati Paro, or Paro, which is what DevDOS called her. I'm sorry if I slaughtered those names, and I wanted to give a disclaimer. I am not a fan of romance movies. I'm also not a fan of melodramatic theatrical plays. However, I wanted to see this movie because it was a re-release for the 15th year anniversary, so it would be rare to be able to watch this one in the theater. And uh, I wanted to review it because it would be different for me. Uh, since I don't like rom romance movies, it would stretch my reviewing abilities to review something that I wouldn't normally be attracted to. DevDoss is based on a 1917 novel that was a Bengali language novel and I like the fact that this movie was a period piece and took place during 1917. Now from what I understand it is not exactly like the book however it is a theatrical play version of the book and the reason I call it a theatrical play and not a movie is because it is a movie filmed as if it was a theatrical play. There are a lot of elements in the movie that show that it could be done on stage as a theatrical play and it is uh, it is done as if it was a theatrical play. It's a musical, it's melodramatic, uh, the romance and the story, the characters are very uh, over the top which is what you need on a theatrical play to be able to portray all of that to a large crowd of people. Also, some of the scenes were filmed like a set on a stage, and it was a tragedy. Now, it reminds me of movies like Les Miserables or Moulin Rouge, which were also theatrical plays that were filmed as if they were still a theatrical play. So it's a movie on a play, but they may have more locations and more sets. So you have to go in understanding that this movie is a melodramatic romance theatrical play that was filmed as a movie. The cinematography was amazing. Now I was told the cinematography would be good when I was going in, and it was. It was beautiful. I loved the way it was shot. They had a large mansion and some of the houses that they filmed in, they utilized the space very well from a filming aspect. They had large crane shots. They did a lot of, in the opening, they did a one-shot sequence where you have people outside. The camera is on a second level. Uh, it's an open house and someone is running in saying, DevDOS is coming, DevDOS is coming and goes up the stairs and is talking to people. The camera follows her on the second floor. And I like those one-shot sequences. It really expands on the space. It shows how big the space or the set is. And that's one of the aspects that the film can do that you can't really do on stage. So I really enjoyed those aspects. Uh, the director was very good at using one-shot large non-edit sequences. Uh, and I always like those, but they're very difficult to pull off on film just because they are so long, there's so many people involved, it's very easy for the, something to go wrong. The colors were very vibrant, but you could tell it was from the early 2000s. They're a little saturated, um, however, they're still very vibrant for the time and beautiful to look at. There's a lot of stuff on screen to uh, as eye candy to be able to take a look at and see all the different colors and details. There's a lot of details in this movie. As a production standpoint, you get a lot of stuff to look at. The story of DevDoss is based on the character DevDoss, who goes off to London to study. He's there for 10 years. So he comes home after 10 years, and that's where our movie starts. Uh, the other main characters are these two women. One is Pavardi or Paro as he calls her 
which was his childhood friend and uh you know they they really kind of grew a romance over time just in longing from being apart for 10 years and then later on in the movie the prostitute uh chen Dramuki, and i know i'm slaughtering that name i, I really apologize but these are the two love interests of Devdas during the two parts of his life. When he, his the ten years that he's gone, and the moment that he comes back, he's in love with Paro, and he stays in love with Paro throughout the film. However, it becomes more of a longing that he cannot have, instead of an actual feeling of love. It's more of he's stuck on that idea. I don't think he's actually in love with her. It's just. It's someone that he can't have, that he's obsessing over while he becomes an alcoholic and drinks himself to death. During his alcoholic times, he's staying over at the brothel with the prostitute Chandara Muki, and she ends up falling in love with him, which seems more like she can't have him. He doesn't want her to touch, even touch him. And it becomes, again, like this longing, something she can't have that she ends up growing a love for. However, throughout the whole movie, I kept thinking about these two women. I'm like, why are you in love with this guy? He's such a jerk. Like, <laughs> he is so bad and mean to these women. I don't understand why they're in love with him at all. Uh, but I can understand it on a level of the theatrical play or romantic tragedy. In a lot of romantic tragedies, it really doesn't make sense why the woman is in love with the guy. It's, it's very self-destructive. So I understand why it's in the movie, but my realistic brain is going, Oh my gosh, just dump this guy and marry somebody that is worth your time. <laughs> now, in the second half of the movie, in our second interval, uh, Paro ends up be marrying a rich aristocrat. And I enjoyed her story in the second half. She becomes the mother of the household. She has children all of a sudden, which were from his first marriage. Uh, and I, I enjoyed the responsibility that she took upon herself. She grew as a character and as a person, and I liked seeing her storyline from there. I just I couldn't understand why these women were in love with him. Uh, he was such a jerk. I did not like Shah Rukh Khan's character. However, Shah Rukh Khan did a good job playing that character. Half the time, though, the melodrama was way over the top and hard to accept. Other times, the acting was great. There were some moments the other half of the time where Shah Rukh Khan went above and beyond, and I thought he did a great job in those sequences. The musical numbers were also very good. There were a lot of them. This is a musical. But I think you really need to see it either on a stage as a live play or in the theater to get the full experience of these musical numbers. I think if you watch it on TV or on DVD, you're not going to get the impact of it. In the theater with the music very loud and the screen very big, being able to see all of the colors, the large set pieces, and the dancing and all of the details that were going involved, it was very hypnotic. Uh, I ended up being very kind of hypnotized into the, into the song and dance, and I enjoyed them more than I would if I had seen it on TV. Overall, I enjoyed the movie, but not as much as people that gravitate towards melodramatic theatrical plays or romantic movies. So from a film aspect, I would give this movie a grade of an A-. Now again, this isn't my cup of tea. This is not a movie that I would usually go out and see on my own. However, it was a 15th year anniversary. It was a very rare time that I would get to see it in a theater, so I wanted to check it out uh, and kind of stretch my abilities of being a movie reviewer. Also, uh, my friend Scott came with me. I was very thankful that he decided to come. We hung out. He enjoyed the movie as well. He thought he was the one that told me that it reminded him of like a Les Miserables style theatrical play, and I fully agree with him on that. 
We also filmed, I filmed a vlog for the entire weekend during the San Diego Comic-Con stuff and seeing Dev Doss, my travel vlog, and hanging out with Scott. So if you want to check that out, I will have a link to it at the end of this video, uh, but not until the vlog comes up, which will be later tonight. So you, if it's not at the end card, you'll see it later tonight, but once it is uploaded, I will add it to the end card. So check that out. But what did you think of Dev Doss? Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. I know it's going to be split. Some people hate the movie. Some people absolutely love the movie. And I think it's really dependent on your taste in films, whether or not you gravitate towards over-the-top melodramatic theatrical plays and romance movies, or if you just don't like them. But let me know if you're on VidMe, upvote this, give me a follow and share it around. If you're on YouTube, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.